Mabuhay! It's Colleen! So for today's video, since Christmas is already around the corner, we are going to be wrapping gifts. But before anything else, please give this video a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and click the notification bell to be notified every time I post a new video. And also do follow me on my Instagram account, at Colleen Fabi. Let's begin! So, I have a bunch of stuff here that I still need to pack. We need wrapping papers, scissors, and some ribbons, and I also have a stapler and a tape. So, while wrapping these gifts, I also asked my mom to ask me a bunch of questions, and I'm going to be answering them while wrapping the gifts. Question number one. Miss Philippines. Describe yourself in five words. Out of my hand. I'm fabulous, I'm amazing, I'm artistic, I'm beautiful, <laughs> incredible. Okay, if you nice. could give every person a gift in the world, what would it be? Love. Everyone needs love. Everybody needs love. <laughs> what What's the question? <laughs> Do you believe money can or cannot buy happiness? Buy, buy happiness. Money can buy happiness. Well, you can't say that money cannot. Because without money, how can you buy all the stuff that you want and that makes you happy? It depends on what happiness are we talking about. It's easier to be happy when you have money. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. That's true. I'm still on my first gift. What are you most afraid of? Mm, to lose the people that I love. What are the three things you're grateful for? Three things that I'm grateful for. First, my family. Second, my friends and the people that love me. And third, I'm grateful for the world that we are living in. What do you feel are the most important things to live a great life? To appreciate everything even the little things that you have in your life. Where in the world would you most like to live? Um, before, I was thinking I want to live within Europe. I want to live in Switzerland. But then, I don't know, it always changes. Like last month, I wanted to live in Spain. Before, I wanted to live in UK. We never know. What do you do when you cannot sleep at night? Sometimes I just scroll my phone, go through TikTok videos. Or sometimes, this is so weird, but I put, um, what do you call white flour in English? Well, it's white flour. It's an oil, and then I put it here on my forehead and on my nose, and then I, I try to go to sleep. Sometimes it helps. If it doesn't, I play Zen music, instrumental music. Is that a question? <laughs> How can you help someone today? If I could help someone, um, I always wanted to motivate people. So I wanted to help brighten their, their day by maybe sending a message, a motivational message. Because you never really know. Sometimes even just a simple deed will have an impact to other people. If you could travel back in, in time three years, what advice would you give yourself? So three years, it's my first year in France, right? I would say, I would say, Colleen, save your money and travel. <laughs> and travel while you can. What is the hardest job in the world and why? Being a mom. And why? You should answer it. Are you seeing my hair? Hey, Dina. Dina, that was nice. Dina! Why is it being a mom the hardest job in the world? I'm sacrificing everything that I could like a super girl, super woman to give my family the best future in the world. I thank you. I'm gonna be answering questions alone because my mom's busy. This is harder than I thought. Here, I have would you rather questions. And the first one is, would you rather trade some intelligence for looks or looks for intelligence? 
I would say that I would rather trade looks for intelligence. But yeah, it doesn't really make sense if you trade your intelligence for looks. It really depends on the purpose. But yeah, I would say I would trade looks for intelligence. Okay, next. If you ever joined the circus, what were your circus act? You know, I've always wanted to be flexible, like the acrobat thing. And you know the girl or the guys who do the thing? I don't know if you understand me, but who jumps from, from one rope to the other, swings and then jumps and grabs the other rope and then jumps again. I really wanted to try that. And yeah, if I'm at the circus, I would probably do that. For me, it's just amazing how they can do it. You know, they have so much courage. Oh, yeah, I remember I saw that a lot of times, maybe, that's why. I saw that from The Greatest Showman, and th did I? Is it The Greatest Showman? I, I'm not really sure. No, 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 it's not The Greatest Showman, I think. I saw that from Dumbo, and then there's one in Coraline as well. What cheesy song? Do you have memorized? Or have you memorized? Well, you know, when I was young, I was emotional. And I don't know, this is a Filipino song. And I was so obsessed with this song, I don't know why. And I was at around 12 years old? Or no, 11. I don't really remember. But there's this song called Mine in the Philippines. It's actually a rap. And yeah, I was crazy. I don't know. It's so cheesy, so emotional. They say JJ in the Philippines. And what's funny is that I even sang that in front of my dad, and he was so proud that I memorized a rap. But really, it's nothing to be proud of. Before I end this video, I just wanted to share two different words, two words in English that I'm going to be translating in French and Tagalog. So the first word is December, which in French is December and in Tagalog is December. The second word is gift, which in French is cadeau and in Tagalog is regalo. So that's it for today and I will see you on my next adventures. A bientôt!